Oh no! Welcome back to as a reincarnated aristocrat because yeah, I recorded the first episode yesterday and I'm back again to do this one today. Get down there. Let's begin. If you would like to watch fully unedited reactions, go to Patreon. If you want to watch short unedited actions for free, go to TikTok. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of the episode. Let's begin. Leadership. Prowess. Okay, so like the main stats. The main stats. Domain of Lomberg. I love the the winged doggy. I like I love that concept. It's cute. And they're seeing that he's an actual good person and talented. And the prejudice is like it's just flowing away out of their bodies because it it, did, it had no foundation in the first place. Of course. Of course. The most knowledgeable. Oh wow. Yeah, because of that ingenuity. Oh wow, they're talking good about him and no one else is around. Wow. But you didn't want to give him good food. Okay, girl. Okay. See how dumb prejudice and racism is? It's just so stupid. Oh. Two, oh, that was 200 years ago. Okay. Oh, and you know what they do say, at least in like the history of like our world, usually empires last around like 200 years. Eight year old child. Oh, because they want to rule through him. They want him to be a puppet emperor. Okay. There will absolutely be bigger conflict. There's going to be a civil war. Ooh, these are all the future characters. Whoa! The future care. Okay. The mission province. So that'd be the easiest place to take over first or reclaim power from by the emperor. Oh, are his sons warmongers? Uh oh. Oh. Because one of them won't accept it. One wants the birthright, one wants the talent and the capability. Yeah. I love shows like this. I love the political intrigue, like kingdom building, ec economic stuff. Like, I love stuff like this. If they taught economics, like, through shows like this, I would, I'd, I'd be all macro, microeconomic, I'd be all into it. But I don't want to read this book. <laughs> Oh, that's too much. That's too much. But you're already thinking about how you're going to take over things. And the fact that you're only three years old right now. Oh. Oh, yay. And the moment that Reitz actually goes on like a reconnaissance mission or leaves his side, someone's going to try to assassinate him. Once, he's the, once they start gaining traction, and then Reitz is going to be like, I'm never leaving your side ever. With a talent for magic. He really, really trusts him now. I like that. But I feel like the biggest hurdle was the first hurdle, which was like the person of like lowest like societal position actually being like worthwhile. Mm. Do mages have like limited magic power or are they drawing the magic from nature? You do not have that much magic power. Okay. <laughs> well, he's three. He's three years old. Maybe his, like, magic will grow. Or are you born with set stats? And can they not grow? I guess we'll see that through the course of the show. How spiders. Okay, they rule... Oh, they went to like a big, big city, not the village. And then you're gonna have to work on your durability. Oh my God, that's a dragon! It's a baby dog, that's so cute! D's, D's everywhere. Damn, not even a C? No B's? 
Mm -hmm. And aptitude ranks, yes. Oh, multiplying the two. Okay. Oh, okay. And you're getting tired. And you're, once again, he's a kid. His body, like, is not fully capable of doing what it will be able to do in the future. Honestly, yeah, you should be looking there because there are probably extremely talented people that are just trodden upon. He said there's nothing you can do for them right now, but that can be part of, like, your plan going forward. <gasps> yes! Yes, good MC. You don't have the power currently, but it should be something you strive towards. I like that. Yeah, the makings of a really good society is the status of those who are considered the lowest. So that you can lift people up, yes. But also, I feel like that's where they're going to find the good people. Someone decided to start doing construction on a Sunday? What are you doing? Mm. How big do the dragons get? You literally saw a dragon earlier. You're the main character. You need, like, a cool, rare, unique dragon that nobody else gonna have. Three. Oh! Reeks! Oh, shit! Wait, why is he trying to... Why did he pull the dagger? Oh, it was frozen. Ooh. Ooh, so you need, like, a blacksmith area. Oh! It is a scam. Okay, but you didn't have to take that knife out, my guy. You're a Malkin, and I'm pretty sure that city is still super racist. Oh! I love it. I love it, though. I mean, that's what you need. You need someone on 10 for you. I love it. We just gotta tone it down. You can do it without the knife. You can, like, use your words. But I love that. It's also good that you recruited him. You need somebody like that, because you was about to get got. <laughs> oh. Damn! How much is he eating? Does he have like an endless stomach? Oh yeah, you got you got robbed. Yeah, you didn't notice that? But oh, okay, yeah, I love this because he's definitely like, he's so like innocent in like so many ways. So like he truly does feel like a three-year-old that's just like wide-eyed and open to the new world even though he's technically is like a grown adult man living another life. Oh, I like her hair. Is she leading them into a trap? Oh. Oh, no. She got led into a trap. Oh! 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 Okay, yeah. So, for the in the future, the future wars, they're going to show... Okay, people going to get hurt. Oh, no, no. Reach you, Reach, you can do it now. Exactly. You can get him. Hey, this time he didn't use the knife. He didn't use the knife. That's great. Yeah, this is embarrassing for y'all, but y'all are just petty. Yeah. I don't even know if they're thieves. Thugs. Ooh. You know what? You should have scanned them. You probably could have recruited one of them. She's extremely talented, isn't she? Leadership, prowess, diplomacy. She's DDD, an S tier mage. Wow. Oh, okay. 
But that, but she's, she's a glass cannon. She's technically a glass cannon of magic power. You need her. Oh, no! No! Uh, this is actually, this is very plausible. <clears throat> she can't stand nobles. Oh, so she just doesn't, yeah, she's, yeah. She's lived too much to, like, want to even deal with y'all. Yeah, she can't stand y'all. This is actually really good because he can't just go around asking everybody and thinking they're going to agree. Because Reitz could have, he could have said no also. A tool. Damn. She's giving it to him like in real time and I actually love this. Because this is something that other isekai protagonists, like, in a similar-esque, like, show, they wouldn't learn this until, like, midway through near the end of the season. Like, you can talk the talk, but how soon can you walk it? Oh. Oh, she got you good. Oh, but Reitz was in the same position. Oh, he's not gonna help. Okay. He just wants to, he just wants the money back. Okay. Actually, I, I like that. Was she a slave? What are those markings? She was a slave, yeah. <laughs> well, she probably finds it easy to survive. Oh. Oh. Now you have to take care of all of them. Take Now you have to take care of all of them. That's what she cares about. Bring You have to be able... You have to be able to bring them all if you want to recruit some people. Oh, he's going to give the money. He's just going to give the money away. Oh, I guess recruiting her is going to be like a long-term gain thing. Oh, oh, this is so sweet. He is a good leader. You can't take her away from it. Well, how are you going to change it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He almost turned you down, yeah. Exactly, she has trauma, and so she's like, why should I trust a random little kid noble? It's completely plausible, and also, as what I said earlier, she gave him, like, the business and was like, you think you're just gonna come through and do this, blah, 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 like, you can't change anything. Oh, yeah, all right, well, now you're gonna have to save her. The slave traders came back. Yeah, they got her. Cause she has no aptitude in anything but magic. This was so good. This was like a really, really good second episode because it did so many things that so many other shows could take forever to do. He got a lesson in reality. He got his first no with a leather lesson in reality. And then it was backed up by the rest of the supporting cast, Reitz, where Reitz was like, I mean, I get it. And then the main character was like, oh my God, she's right. Like, I've literally just been like, I'm a noble. I can help you. Duh, you should come. You should come with me. It's going to be a better life. Okay, but that's just me. I'm taking care of these other people. The situation's not going to change. It's going to be shit for everybody, everywhere. Why would I? No. Little kid, if you don't get the fuck out of my face. Love it. I love it. And so also... Whenever they do, or whenever she does agree, because she's, she's clearly coming, she's the one in the opening or whatever, and blah, blah, blah. Whenever she does eventually come, I feel like that's gonna make their relationship so much better. And it also differs from Reitz's relationship, where like, Reitz had trauma, but he was just like, bruh, like, I'm from another country, all this kind of stuff like that. I, he had people who did accept him. She's just been, um, yeah. He was in a mercenary troop, he had people who accepted him. He had some semblance of like, family life, camaraderie she has that but she's just been poor and taken advantage of forever 
So like she was actually a slave, which I don't even want to, okay. Like they're, they're getting it, they're getting into it. Anyways, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the episode down below. And thank you so much for watching with me in the first place. I will catch y'all next time. Bye.